Hello and welcome to Salt and Light Canning. I'm Jessica. This is my kitchen. I am so happy that you're here. Today we are going to be making um, some canned baked beans. Now in my last video or one of my last videos um, I canned some black beans because if you're going to store something in your food storage you need to be eating it. You know you go through your storage and you rotate your stock so that way you know that you know how to cook it and your family enjoys eating it. But also it helps make sure that your food's not expiring, that you're checking it all the time um, for any kind of damage. So we go through and we use what's in our dry storage and we rotate through our stock. So today I'm going to make some baked beans and this is just my recipe. You, if you have another recipe that you like, you know, make sure it's canning safe and then you do that. This is just what I do. I'm using what I have. Use what you have. So to start with, I'm going to make my sauce. So I have some onions. And these are just onions that we chopped up and put in the freezer. I had a really big bag of onions and so we needed to store them so they wouldn't go bad. And because I have tomato juice, I'm going to use tomato juice. If you didn't have tomato juice, you could also use um, tomato sauce or crushed tomatoes. Just whatever you have, or you don't have to use any tomatoes at all. You can just use broth or just water. Whatever you have, whatever you like, whatever you know your family is going to eat. I also have some filtered water here. All right. I'm going to turn on my stove and get it started heating. Now we're going to add some flavor. So. We like our baked beans kind of sweet, a little sweet, a little savory, you know, both. So I have molasses, I have a little apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, and before I put this in the jar, I'm going to taste it to see and make sure that it's where we like it. Now I'm going to add some seasoning. I have some bouillon. This is a chicken tomato bouillon. Some barbecue seasoning. Granulated onion. And I know I put onion in there, but I still like to add some granulated onion. Garlic. Mustard powder. Now don't make a face. <laughs> and if you do, it's okay. I'm also going to add just a little bit of ground clove. Then I need some of the Wush, the W sauce. So Worcester whatever sauce. I don't know how you say it, but that sauce. I'm going to give this a good stir and let it heat up. Now there are lots of different ways to can your baked beans. If you want, you could also put your beans and your sauce together in the pot and heat them up together. This is just what I do because I make large batch and I would have to have a really, really, really big pot to accommodate the beans and the sauce. And then I don't know if I could lift it off the stove. So this is what I do. I'm going to let this finish heating up and clean up my mess a little bit. And then I'm going to head over to my other counter and we're going to start putting some beans in jars. All right. So my sauce is heating up and while it does its thing, I'm going to put my beans in the jars. So I did soak these for about six hours. So it's not like I soak them for a full 12 hours and overnight and all that stuff. I didn't do that. Um, but before I soaked them, I did measure out 
21 cups of beans. So that way I knew that would be 21 quart jars. Um, so I'm just going to evenly distribute my beans across 21 jars because for a quart jar, it's one cup of beans. But it's hard to tell once they've expanded, right? So I'm going to start with about that much and see how we go. So if anybody's wondering if you can in the winter, yes, I can in the winter. This is when I do beans and meat and soups and things like that. Because in harvest season, you're canning the things out of your garden. And you don't have time to can beans or meat or soups or things like that. But in the winter, you have more time and you're able to get more done to make sure that you have other things on your shelf besides just the produce out of your garden. The produce out of your garden is amazing and wonderful. But I would like to have baked beans in the summer for like a barbecue or something and have it on my shelf. And I just use the things that I already had in my house. Whatever you're making, use what you already have. You don't need to buy special things to make a recipe, unless you do. I mean, if there's a recipe that you just really love and need to go out and get something special for, then by all means do that. I'm not gonna let it stop me from canning and taking care of my family. And I love being able to use the things that we store. Because there's no point in storing food if you're not gonna eat it. So when you're filling your jars with soaked beans, you really don't wanna fill more than like two thirds to three quarters of the way full. So I'm gonna make sure as I go through and add more beans to my jars, that I'm not filling above just under the shoulder here because these beans are still going to expand as they cook. All right, I'm gonna check my sauce and then bring it over here to put in my jars. So we are going to fill to one inch of headspace. And because I have tomatoes and because I have expanding beans, I'm gonna make sure that I stick really close to or a little bit below that one inch of headspace because I don't want any siphoning. I kind of stir it up because I wanna make sure I get some of the onions in there too. And they will, they will just kind of disintegrate after canning. And we are gonna be pressure canning because you have to pressure can beans. If there was another way, I don't know it. So I'm just gonna pressure can. I'm gonna really, really debubble. I have some white vinegar here. I'm gonna wipe the rim of my jar really well. Put a lid on it. Put the ring on it. And these are gonna be beautiful and delicious. And we'll fill our next jar. I'm just gonna keep filling jars. I'll be back when I'm putting them in the canner. <laughs> so my canners are full and turned on and there's a splash of vinegar and the appropriate amount of water. And if you look, I only have maybe two thirds or three quarters of beans in the jar. So what is going to happen 
is as these process and cook, those beans are going to continue to expand and absorb the liquid in the jar with them. Um, these are going to process for 90 minutes because it's beans and it's quartz. So I'm going to get my lids on. I'm going to let them come up to temperature and vent for 10 minutes. And venting is just a steady stream of steam out of right here. And that has to happen for 10 minutes. And then I'll put my weights on. And I have to process in my canner, I have to process at 15 pounds of pressure for my altitude. You need to look up what's appropriate for your altitude. Um, I'm above a thousand feet. So because I'm above a thousand feet, I have to pressure can at 15 pounds of pressure. Please look up what's appropriate for your altitude. So I'm going to let these process for 90 minutes and I'll be back when I'm taking them out of the canner. So my timers have gone off. This one came off of pressure. This one's still working on it. <laughs> so we're going to give her a couple more minutes until she's done. But we're ready to take these out. So like I said, the beans have continued to expand. And they are absorbing the liquid in the jar. But they are cooked and ready for whenever we want to eat them. Now everything is still bubbling and going to town in the jar. And I'm just going to let them sit here on the counter and not touch them and not disturb them and let them relax and seal. Tomorrow I will come through and take off the rings and wash the jars really well and label them and put them in the pantry. By canning beans the way your family likes to eat them, it ensures that you're using the stuff that you have stored for like your long-term storage. It makes sure that you're rotating through your stock and that you're checking on your long-term storage on a regular basis. So, give it a try. Don't be afraid to try, okay? If you store beans, make sure that you're eating beans and it's a wonderful winter canning project. So, give it a try. Don't be afraid. Be so blessed, know that you're loved, and be a blessing to someone else. I'll see you in the next video.